can I ask you though about this? What was it about about the eyes? I don't know, not very professional uh, of him, is it? No, I was. It I'll was be ticked off for that too. <laughs> oh no, I know what it was. I know what it was. It was something that Orson Welles said on this program about uh, screen acting. He said that um, that really all it is is the camera loves you or the camera doesn't. Oh. Would you agree with that? I think he's marvellous. I made a film a long time ago with Orson Welles called um, I'll Never Forget What's His Name. Yes, I know. and he taught me a great deal. Do nothing. Do absolutely nothing. His mother was a dear boy. And he did nothing. He, we, a very funny story about Orson. We were making this film on the top of a new block of flats because it was a cheap place to make a movie. And they said, Orson, you've got ten minutes, you can go away. So he went to Brown's Hotel because he'd been kicked out of all the others. And he got some <laughs> sandwiches. And then he realized he'd forgotten where he was working. So he got a police car and he said, would you, uh, my dear friend, will you please take me to where I'm working? And he said, but Mr. Wells, you know, we don't know where you are. He said, you must find out. So they had all the traffic wardens. In the end, he got out of the police car and he walked around the corner and he found the place. He got in the lift and he got stuck six floors up. And it was 12 stories and he got stuck. And we were waiting, the director, Michael Winner. Can you imagine? Olsen, my darling. <laughs> oh, you're not there. <laughs> but always, and he came out and said, after, after being three hours late, he said, sorry, Michael. And that's what it's about, understatement. Yeah. <laughs> I love that winner. That's most beautiful. It's quite good, isn't it's it? Very good, yeah. <laughs> the Olsen's very good, too. That's not very good. I, um, no, that's not very good. I'm not a mimic, actually. Well, you'd fool me, because those two were the Olsen well, Olsen, well, I thought it was quite accurate. I'm quite good at Jimmy Stewart. I used to be. Quite good. I'll give you my Jimmy Stewart. Yeah, Jimmy Stewart. I'm a work ash plan for the last 24 years. I saw him the other day in the bar. <laughs> <laughs> you know, he got, uh, he was, in the, he was in the bar at the Royal uh, Albert Hall. Uh, that's right. And he came out that's after that's me. Right. He didn't kick John Mills. And he said, oh, how are you? I heard this voice. I was there drinking a, a double diamond. <laughs> and, uh, a double what? Yes. <laughs> and, and I suddenly heard this voice. It says, oh, how are you? And tonic, please. <laughs> and it was fantastic. And there was Father Christmas. I know. <laughs> Amazing, isn't it? Yeah. It's one of these, I suppose, half dozen. Oh, superstars. Super, super. super. There are only a few of them left. Yes. Yes, Cary Grant. Yeah. From that, from that era. Oh, magic, yeah. yeah. Well, they're all Bogart and Kovacs. They're yeah. All, they're all and that marvellous thing that happened when he walked on, Oliver, mm. where they just sort of said thank you. Well, he was marvellous. He was one of the few people that was courteous enough to pay interest to um, Princess Anne, who'd been there. I would like to say that. Hmm. What about directors? Eh? <laughs> I'm your royal now. I'm... <laughs> I like your royals. <laughs> <laughs> Lady Barnet. <laughs> <laughs> Did, uh, did, did you like me, Oliver? Um, you used to watch Lady Barnett on what's going on? Oh. Yes, I did. <laughs> my goodness me. I was, ne I was very... Uh, when Gilbert was on, my parents used to uh, put me outside because he used to say words like bloody. But I always remember this. I was very much in love with you, Lady Barnett, and you used to wear those, those black things over your eyes with, with frills around the side, remember? <laughs> and then take them off. And she epitomised to me everything that, that you said. The handles are there, the cool... Marvellous, mature lady. I've loved them ever since. People say that I'm anti-women's lib, but there's an example. Lady Barnett, you heard by her remarks, is not anti-men or is not pro-women's lib. She's a very gracious lady, and I'm delighted to meet her. I might say that I stood up and down when she was coming in and out of the studios earlier on, so she, so she, would, so she wouldn't like attack you. Well, <laughs> I don't want you to have a go at me with your brain. <laughs> of the slickest knees in the business. I've never seen a man get up and down so quickly. <laughs> you see, cool. one never thinks of one sitting on the screen that there at the other end was an embryo, living, lusting flesh, <laughs> being put out of the room Gothic. because you've got a mask. Gothic, I'm sorry. Right. I'm right. sure it was living and lusting too, right. wasn't it? Yes, yes it was. Yes. It's something like that. Yes. What, do you, what do you feel when people write that about you? Complimented. Do you? I think so, yes. I think because I know it's not true. <laughs> I feel very complimented. I mean, you know, it's, 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 I mean, well, it's, it's a bit true, but I think, I'm, no, I feel complimented. How, of course, if somebody said that you were, you know, whatever you were, I think I would feel complimented. I don't know what to say. I don't, I think the journalists have to look for, a, for an angle or for a, a leader or whatever they call it. I feel complimented. Yes, sure. but I mean, I spent years trying to get an image like that. I spent years uh, for people trying to ask me for my autograph. And I can't understand actors who directly they get sufficient name that somebody wants to ask them for their autograph. They say, oh, well, you know, what's happening? Let me get out and I'm, where are those people? Yes, yes. What about you? What about uh, uh, women? I mean, do you really like uh, intellectual women, intelligent women like Lady Barnett? 
I think I, I um, Diana Rigg. No, no, no. <laughs> I, Diana Rigg was 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 really one of the most intelligent ladies I've ever worked with, and I remember accusing her of having a Reader's Digest intellect. I am suspicious of women who want to bludgeon men on the head with, with their intellect. And I'm not saying that this goes with Lady Barnett because it does not and it never has done. But I am suspicious of that type of woman. And I believe that if she is not properly equipped in other departments, she's inclined to do that. Yeah. In exactly the same way is that Mr. Spillane writes books for people who are not equipped in other departments. And I think that is fine. That's fair entertainment. No. I used to, he always used to say, I mean, how can you get offended by a dress that used to be poured on a lady? I remember a book you once wrote where a woman had a woman tit, a wooden tit or something. Do you know? <laughs> and it, and it, was, it was, it wasn't one of mine, it was, it was real. It was, and there was a climax, and he came in, and Drummond or Hammond or whatever his name was, came into this dark room, and then this woman gave him a karate chop, and he thought, she's going to kill me, so she sh he shot her, and a wooden tit flew out. It was really, <laughs> it was re it was really a geezer. That was a book where the woman happened to be a man. <laughs> That's right. It was one of your books. That's right. Vengeance is mine. But she was not... He wasn't endowed with any wood. No? At least have the decency to give her a taste of rubber there. <laughs> I couldn't spell in those days either. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. What about you, Mickey? What's your... I mean, what about uh, intelligent women, cool, intelligent... What about British women? Oh, I like the British woman. I like all women. That's what I have to say. I'm, I'm a... Along with his opinions, though, I don't care for those who do batter your down with intelligence. It's beautiful if you have one that has both attributes and makes use of them properly, but none that, that either flaunt sex or, or flaunt the intellect. They can read those famous forms, can't they, those brown envelopes. I mean, I really do. I'm glad that I have associated with fairly intelligent women because they do understand those brown letters, which are great. Do you know those income tax things and, oh. and the census? <laughs> and the census form. I mean, the only person I've ever known to really to, to be the real intellectual is the lady that came round with a census form. And she could fill it in and she helped me because I couldn't do it and I'd been abroad and she said, she said you were late. They're, they're, they're the intelligent women, aren't they? I mean, the really, otherwise, the, the semi intelligent women are. They're, they're but you in see, bed. what a super intelligent man you are. Because to me, the most highly skilled thing in the world is the person who appeals so helpless that from all corners arrive those to prop them up. Yes. What a lovely life. Yes. Marvellous. Yes. I think George Bernard Shaw once said at a cocktail party, he was at a cocktail party, and there was this young lady who was very much in love with him, and she was a bit of a socialite. And she came up to him and she said, George, would you sleep with me? And he said, uh, <clears throat> well, certainly, madam. He said, uh, would you sleep with me? She said, certainly, George. He said, for 25 guineas? She said, certainly, George. He said, what about two shillings and six pennies? She said, what do you think I am, George? He said, madam, what you are has already been established. We're simply haggling about the price. <laughs> <laughs> and I think, I, think, I, think that's true. I think that's true of a lot of ladies in life. Yes. yes. Some have so. their price. Yes, yes. <laughs> let's talk about um, <clears throat> let's talk about uh, uh, the the um, business of appearing nude because you were the first male nude in a movie, weren't you? Right. Yeah. What? Yes, in uh, in Women in Love. Oh, we... No, you've not seen that. No.